Regular expression matching is a very powerful thing, and uh, this is uh, this corresponds to the search part of your editor. There is also the search and replace in your editor, and that's what we call substitution in Perl. The way it works, uh, the syntax of the statement is looks looks like this. You have an S, letter S, it's always you have to put it there, and then you have three slashes. Between the first two you have a pattern, a regular expression, just we have, as we saw earlier, and between the second and the third slash there is a replacement, there is a string that acts like a double quoted string, so you have interpolation. You don't have to put quotations around there, you just put the slashes there, you, you just have the slashes, and then what it, what happens is that this will try to match something. If there is a match, then everything that was matched, the part that was matched in the string, will be replaced by this string. Just as in the matching, in the substitution 2 you can change the, the, uh, the mark around the substitution. So instead of slashes, three slashes, you can, for example, use curly braces. You can use two pairs of curly braces. So that's what I, I really like. You have put a pair of curly braces around the pattern and one around the replacement. Let's see a couple of examples. I have a line here, a uh, string abc123def. And here is a substitution. This is how we use it. We don't put it into a condition usually. It just say, okay, if there is a match, do it. If you don't, just disregard it. So, what does this do? Uh, backslash D matches digits. Digit. Plus means one or more. So this will match the digits in here. And we are telling it to replace it with one single space. So it will match all the three digits and replace the three of them in with one space. Therefore we get ABC space DEF. So that's what we have in dollar line. Dollar line will change. That's one example. Another example here, again starting from the original string. Now I put it into in several lines. What you can, what you see here is first of all a pair of curly braces. So this is the regular expression, and then another pair of curly braces, which is the replacement, and an X meaning that helping me that I can spread it over a couple of rows. That makes it a little bit more readable because it now you can think about the sub-regular expressions uh, separately. So this one, the character class A and to Z, matches any letter. Star means zero or more times, so this will match the ABC. Backslash D matches a digit, star means zero or more, this will match the numbers. And then again the same regular expression that was in the beginning, it will match the rest of the string DEF. Once the matching is finished, the things that were matched by the parentheses, by the content of the parentheses, are saved into $1, and $3 respectively. Here we are using those three variables already, because the matching is already finished. So what we'll do is we will put them in a different order. First the third part, and then the second, and then the first. So this will put DEF at the beginning, that's what you see here and then the digits, and then ABC. So we effectively swapped the beginning at the end of the string just by using a simple regular expression.